anyhow so um yeah so there are things that are very new to me and i thought i should um share these things with you guys like there's things that are okay why am i <laughs> i need a cup of tea i'm why am i going around like why am i not focusing on what i'm saying <laughs> well hello 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 <laughs> hi guys <laughs> thank you for watching and tuning in to my channel guys i really appreciate it. if you're new to my channel um, my name is aileen i am a tanzanian living in poland so um tanzanian living in poland i am studying and working here in poland and in my channel i share everything pretty much everything about the life my life here in poland so if you're new to this channel welcome on board <laughs> if you have been with me since day one i really appreciate and i am not taking that for granted i really appreciate for your support let's just get this going guys <laughs> well so yeah as you can see today i'm somehow in a different position i usually face my window but today my window is here and i'm like let me just stay somewhere differently so that i give you a different vibe um it's friday today is it good friday and i'm just having a cup of tea but i thought before we go to these holidays very long holiday okay we have been in a holiday that we didn't plan and then now we have this like a proper proper holiday and i have just been looking around just to share with you like what is really going and give my two cents on some of the topics um of corona and what comes with corona here in poland and just around the world because i think i have this platform and i not taking the platform for granted i want to use the platform for like to air my opinion and let others also share their own opinion uh, concerning everything Poland and anything that aligns to my values. Well, so what I'm it's gonna be like a very random video, but I just wanted also to share the things that I really like here in Poland. Now we're in uh, we're all quarantined, like we are in like sort of a lockdown, and. There are so many things that I've been seeing online and offline that are going on uh, when it comes to, you know, car being the whole situation, like how Polish people are taking this. And I'm really seeing Polish people in a different eye. Um, these are the things that Polish are doing now to carb, to end, to fight, to support it, one another when it comes to Corona. So I have seen some of the things that are being done with people in Poland um, to somehow make a life a little bit easier, especially this time when things are somehow, you know, stuck. Everything is sort of stranded. And yeah, so there's one thing that I've seen, <laughs> um, the drive through confession. I told you guys uh, in Poland, 90 percent like uh, people like this is a roman catholic church like roman catholic is the main religion so especially at this time when we are going to celebrate easter um usually you need to you know to prepare yourself not just materially but also in your soul so one thing that you do you, we usually go to confess to the priest so now with corona you cannot go to church even there's a restriction of number of people who can enter in the church and then even further, you cannot even go now to the confession booth in a church to confess. So what is Poland is doing now is, you know, I have seen people, I mean, the priest is sitting outside and you come with your car. You drive through and confess. You open the window and you confess. I mean, the, pr the priest hears you while you're in your car so there is not any contact i thought that is a very nice you know approach and kudos 
yeah another thing is um, an application in like a mobile application that every person who is in a mandatory quarantine uh, has to download the application and you log in your address your credentials and they track you they can also check your location so they know exactly that you are just in the same localities you have not gone any other place because you are on a mandatory quarantine so i thought that is also a very nice way of um curbing this quarantine to make to assure that you know you don't spread the the virus so there's something also to learn out of this practice everyone comes with their specialities joining hands together to fight this this issue however that you can yeah so also there's this um the italian balcony gathering that we used to see um online i'll try to look for the video if i can see any and then i will attach in this footage um italians go out of their balconies and just you know sing if you know how to play instrument you know how to sing just to you know cheer yourself up up out of this all um crisis so now i have seen in poland people are going off you know you open your window you op go to your balcony you just applaud medical um, practitioners especially yesterday they were like going off out and they were just clapping hands and um approaching congratulating um nurses and doctors and all health workers for the job that they're doing now that is very encouraging it is very nice so i mean it is very important that we encourage these people and really take care of ourselves like adhere to the rules that is the first thing so that we reduce number of people going to the hospitals and you know make their their work very easy it's already hard so this is also very nice and i'm also giving really i really appreciate everyone who is out there doing the job for saving lives okay uh something else that i've seen is the postal voting poland is going to be voting they're going to election very soon and there is a proposition of since here everyone has their postal boxes just outside their houses so if you're living in a block you have it down down in the, in the ground floor and if you have your house you have it outside also your house so now somehow they want to avoid you know this going to the electoral places and maybe queue working a long queue and just go to the same electoral booth so now there is a proposition of you know casting your vote and put it just outside your postal box and maybe there are people who will come and pick that out but i thought yeah that is it is very nice but my question is um what if how are you going to see i mean to be sure that a person who is casting a vote is above like is on the age of majority what if a father gives their son who is somehow i mean how are you going to make sure that everyone who is voting is of the proper age not just a random person that is my maybe the if you know the answer please leave that also down below another thing that i've seen uh during palm sunday now people could cannot go to church only few people can go five people so there is no easter without a palm sunday and that is a very a day that we dear like roman catholic you understand this is a very important day so in a roman catholic religion on palm sunday we usually go to church and before that yeah we go to church and the priests bishop they bless our palms and we take the palms back to our houses and we put it somewhere in the corner anywhere and the before the ash wednesday these palms this the ones that we have used for the previous year they're the ones that are going to be burnt and we get the the ashes so now we don't go out i mean we were we didn't go out to church so there was this initiative of i think a priest they were passing house by house um giving palms that have already been blessed to the houses so like they were pretty much bringing it to the houses i think they were somehow organized and yeah i thought that was a very good very good idea that even if in this crisis we still have to you know we we still have to 
get to our usual schedule so that was that was nice mm -hmm. okay another thing i oh i'm sitting on my leg like like this so i have to some sort of wake up yeah so another thing that i've also seen and i found to be very interesting uh is the fact that art people like artists painters they're even going forward and put paintings on big walls on the block of doctors and nurses of health workers as a sort of sign of appreciation that is also a very nice thing and i've also heard hotel rooms um i mean hotel some of the hotels have devoted in helping health workers in a sort in, a, in such a way that a health worker now does not go to their families because maybe they're going to infect the family not to put them at risk so now they're going to a hotel and they lodge there that way it also a very good way of you know practice so i said there are so many people coming together putting hands together contributing to this uh, period of crisis however they can and this is really something that has really stood out to me when it comes to i mean now that we are in this in this crisis so i think um the whole essence of you know taking this list of all these um initiatives is to tell someone out there like i tell myself i'm also telling you that um in this period in any ways that you know you can contribute to helping stop and end fight against this uh, crisis just do it if it's sending money for you know contribution there are so many funds now that are going on in facebook um, if it is you know helping an elderly person who lives close to you uh, if it is contributing giving a toilet papers some toiletries grocery stores just anyhow or if you have a social media you have your your i mean your your platform telling people um giving positive energy like encouraging people sending good messages if you know some a family that they have somehow you know lost their loved ones and they're going through a very hard time just sending the messages like like say we're with you together you pray for them you send money to them like anyhow someone has lost their job during this period also it's also very nice so like everyone has a part to play that is the message everyone it's not something that has to be done with just few people and not you millionaires billionaires everyone has something to play to make this thing end. another thing also there's also restaurants that are giving away food for health workers there's also people who are volunteering and giving out food for uh, homeless people especially in the center there's also like a visual crowd detector that i've seen online um someone has designed this and they can see where there are people more than two people who are like some that is a violation of humor i mean did i say my relation of humor right maybe in this period yes <laughs> violation of i mean the laws that has been placed and put in place at the moment so yeah they detect the <laughs> oh my god what am i thinking you married oh yeah <laughs> they detect if they are more than two people and the police come and do whatever that is supposed to be done so anyways that is a short video uh, i wanted to do and i just continue to wish everyone guys a very nice very nice um stay a uh, good celebration of easter mm, this will pass and let's support one another bye bye